Rescue in Tampa, Florida. And our operations manager, Catherine, is giving Nabisco his breakfast. Good morning, Kara. Good morning, Chris. Sorry, I'm right next to Nabisco's air conditioner, so <laughs> it's a little noisy. Hi, Noor. Hello, Danielle. Slide over a little bit, it might be quieter. This is Nabisco getting breakfast. Hi, Dee Dee. Hi, Diana. Starting out with uh, Mr. Biscuit. Good morning, John. You better finish that. Hi, Donna. Hello, Nicole. Hi, Francis. Hey, Zeppelin. Good morning, Molly. Nabisco is still in our outside uh, recovery hospital cage. He's still being monitored. He's been doing good, but we're still keeping our eye on him. Good morning, Mary. Uh, an update on the new arrival, if you're referring to the Bobcat um, rescue from yesterday. Yes, the Bobcat is here. Not you. Not you, silly. So it's a baby bobcat. We are not sure male or female quite yet. Uh, we don't have a name picked out yet, but we're trying to come up with a Labor Day themed name of some sort. Uh, the bobcat from last night appears to be about four months or so. And there's a chance we'll do a bit of an exam on that bobcat today. So if you guys have any Labor Day themed names, feel free to leave them in the comments for us. Yeah, Nabisco's doing well. We haven't uh, witnessed any other seizures at this point. Uh, Mary, my, hopefully my plan is to actually see if we can see Moses and Bailey and Frankie and Simba and maybe Smalls and Misses this morning. That's kind of the agenda I had in my head, so we'll see how that goes. Um, Nabisco's in the recovery hospital cage and whoever said it's a small cage smaller than normal, but it's still quite large, especially for such a young bobcat. <clears throat> He's being monitored because he had a seizure. Um, it's been almost two weeks ago at this point. He's had a history of them, but this last one, uh, Catherine actually witnessed and was able to get video of it. It's very scary, so we have sent that video out to other specialists and are trying to come up with the right Oh, I'm loving some of these names. Hi, Susan. We're having breakfast with Mr. Biscuit this morning. Good morning, Jessica. Uh, no, this is not a zoo. We are in Tampa, Florida. This is Big Cat Rescue. We're one of the world's largest accredited sanctuaries for big cats. We don't do any buying, selling, trading, breeding, or touching any of our animals here. These cats uh, come from all different backgrounds. Thank you, Dan. We really appreciate your donation. You can learn about every single one of our cats. They all have a bio page on our website, bigcatrescue.org slash cat bio. Nabisco is one of our very youngest cats. He actually came into us about six months old, but unfortunately had been kept around humans. What are you so jumpy about? So he got, looks like chicken, and then he has mush, which is a red-brown diet of the entire animal. You get all the organ meats and all the refuse that they would get in the wild. It's important. We lovingly joke that it's their vegetables, which big cats are 100% carnivores, so they don't eat vegetables. Hi, 
Hi, Tegan. I heard you'll be back soon. Yes, this is a bobcat named Nabisco. His little nickname for us is Biscuit. <laughs> hey, Robin. Hello, Susan. Mike and Kathy. Uh, so, Catherine and Elisa went on a bobcat rescue last night and came back with what we think might be about a four month old bobcat for our rehab and release program. We do rehab and release native Florida bobcats. And Jamie wants us to pick a name that is some sort of Labor Day theme. So if any of you guys have suggestions, that'd be great. Uh, we have a staff meeting today, so maybe I can make a little list of what you guys have said. Jamie said Catherine and Elisa could name the Bobcat, but they hadn't come up with anything they loved yet. You're gonna get every last piece. Good morning, Cheryl. You're so jumpy this morning, sir. So we just watched Nabisco have breakfast. I think what we're gonna do now is see if we can get a glimpse at Moses and Bailey. Uh, Moses and Bailey are two bobcats that live together. We don't usually get a great view of them, mainly because they're very elusive, they hide a lot, and their cage has been really, really grassy. <laughs> But everybody just cleaned all that out. So hopefully we'll have a better view. Yeah, if you guys want to throw out names, we're not sure if it's a boy or a girl. We think it might be about four months old or so, but Jamie will most likely do some sort of exam um, today, so we'll get more information. Hi! It's Vanessa and Abby, and they're going back to check on Seth, who they already and if we do an exam on the bobcat, if everything's good to go with that, I will try to go live with you guys like I have in the past. We do have a staff meeting today, and we have 70% chance of rain today as well, so we will have to see how that goes. Yes, my golf cart is working, you guys. Victor's amazing. Oh, there's Smalls up there on her den, being a cutie pie, but we came over to see Moses and Bailey, so let's check them out real quick. Yeah, Victor took a look yesterday. Greatly appreciate it. What are you guys doing? We got Moses. Hi, sir. Hi, gorgeous. This is Moses. I was wondering how long he'd stay here and sit with me. They were expecting breakfast and they, I think, realized real quick that I didn't bring it. Bailey's a lot more elusive and more aggressive. See her back there in the grasses. So they cleared out a ton of these grasses, so now you can see they actually have some floor space that we can see. Before that, this entire cage were those tall grasses. <laughs> hi, Bailey. You wanna come say hi? Do you wanna come say hi? No? So this is exactly why you guys don't see Moses and Bailey very often. <laughs> and uh, Jamie has a route of cats that she feeds in the morning and Moses and Bailey are the cats that she feeds, so don't usually follow her. You can always got to keep your eye on Bailey, but I'll pan over. You can see Moses is over there. He might let us get close to him again. He's a little more laid back. You can hear her little chirp noises. Hi, you gonna go see Buddy? Good morning everybody. Thanks for joining. This is Moses and Bailey at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. Yeah, 
they have a great cage to play hide and seek in. Look at those bobcat tails. I love how orangey brown Moses is compared to Bailey. That's your best way of telling these two apart from a distance. He's a little bit larger than she is. She's got a little bit more of a spotted coat pattern. She's got a pink nose, and again, she's the aggressor. <laughs> Was that all we're gonna get? So they have a really cool cage. If you had ever been here before, um, the, before Hurricane Irma, actually, because that's when we rerouted the path out of the gift shop uh, when a tree came down, but they have this really awesome enclosure where they have this ramp that goes up to this tunnel. And the tunnel takes them over and across to a whole other side of their enclosure. And the entrance used to be right there. Thank you, Maria, for your donation. So a lot of times you would walk out of the gift shop for the start of your tour and you'd walk right underneath Moses and Bailey who'd be sleeping in that tunnel. <laughs> now we rerouted. And we've done a lot. You can see this is the back side of the gift shop. We actually have a way for you to come out of the gift shop and be able to see some of the cats before and after your tour. So they're just waiting on Jamie to come with breakfast. So I figured this might be the best time that we would actually get to see them. This is Bailey. Being talkative. Good morning, Margaret. I'm sorry if I'm missing any of your questions or anything. When I'm around these cats, I'm usually watching them instead of the screen, especially when there's two in a cage. <laughs> they would be great at just one of them distracting you and the other coming for you. Wow, you guys are listing some really creative names. I'll definitely, I'll try to get back to my desk before uh, our staff meeting and jot some of these down and make sure I give them to Catherine. It's always a big honor. The people that go rescue the cats get to name the cats. So Jamie said that Catherine and Elisa could name them, but she wanted it to be a Labor Day theme, which was a little tough to get creative, especially not knowing if it's a boy or a girl all kinds of things falling out of the trees today. Mr. Mo! Coming through his grasses. All right, kids. Well, thank you for letting us see you. <laughs> that was a rare treat. Now, I know that Frankie was on everybody's list. So let's go around the corner real quick and see. I'm not sure if he has been fed yet or not. I do think that route has already come out. Look how beautiful Small's cage looks right now with all the... Here you are! What you doing, baby girl? I think she's still waiting on breakfast. You see she still has her tree stump in there. She also has her new nice platform as well. Team. <laughs> All right, she always distracts me. I was on my way to see Frankie. <laughs> yes, Smalls and Nabisco came in on the same rescue with Kelona and Dryden as well as Sassy and Josie Cougar, who have since passed on. So if you guys are just joining, we did start out watching Nabisco have breakfast. He is still in the recovery hospital cage, still being monitored. And then we just got a rare glimpse at Moses and Bailey. We stopped when I got distracted with smalls. <laughs> Big request for the past few weeks has been Frankie. Hi, bud. Hi, sir. Frankie's this beautiful brownish red color. 
there's something in that tree that keeps getting his focus. He has definitely calmed down a lot um, to the fact where I think he's in such a routine that by the time he gets breakfast and gets all his walking in, uh, he really spends a lot of time sleeping in his den. He loves this den, same den that Running Bear and Little White Dove loved. What you doing? Just patrolling. Hi. I know, I didn't bring any of the good stuff. None of the good stuff. He actually doesn't even eat in that lockout, but he's smart enough to know that that's what that is over there. You're welcome, Mary. Yeah, it's definitely not that I hadn't want to. I just didn't have a golf cart, and so it's hard to <laughs> it's hard to take requests if I can't just zoom right over to them. <laughs> but Victor's awesome, and it was working today. What you doing, Mr. Man? <laughs> There's something up above him that's driving him crazy. I can't tell what it is. Could be squirrels that were dropping those. Actually, yeah, uh, there's a bunch of them over here. What is that? He's very busy. I thought maybe he would have had breakfast already, but I'm not, I didn't actually, what are you doing? Oh gosh, <laughs> golf cart fun. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. Where are you going? No, all right. All right. We'll leave you to it. We'll leave you to it. He's determined. He's like, someone is supposed to be bringing me food. Hopefully everybody on here is helping answer questions I'm missing when I'm not watching the screen. All right, bye bud. Bye sir. So you can see on this side, that's now the new way you come in instead of under the tunnel with Moses and Bailey when you come on a tour. If Apollo's out, we might be able to say hi to him. seeing it, but look how gorgeous all of the enclosures look right now. Just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Smalls, you're a showstopper. <laughs> okay, let's go see Simba. Hey, Vicky. And maybe Mrs. There she is, right in front of me. You talking? Hi, baby girl. Morning, Mirza. This is Mrs. Mrs. Claus. Don't you pee on me again, ma'am. I'm watching you now. Now that I know that's a thing. There she goes. <laughs> oh, that's because there's feeders back there. They are very smart. Very, very smart. What are you doing? Oh, are you squeaking? She's like, you're not my mama that feeds me. So Mrs. is also another one of the cats that Jamie feeds in the morning. Jamie gets her own little route of all these cuties. Here's Simba. Simba really loves to hang out on top of this den. Hi. Hi, cutie. Hi. I know, you're smelling. I didn't bring food. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's Mrs. Squeaking behind me. Oh, bath time. It's bath time. Let's see how good Simba looks. Simba is a savannah. Very much like a serval, except for his eyes. 
Yes, Jessica, he is thinning out, thank goodness. He was such a little pork chop. That's what I nicknamed him from the moment I saw him. <laughs> Absolutely loved him, but I was like, oh, buddy. <laughs> you definitely were able to just eat meat meat. So, and he really still loves fish and shrimp, but he has moved on to a lot of other uh, meats. Like he's actually enjoying red meat. He's doing well eating off a stick. Afton just cleared him for paper enrichment, which he absolutely loves. It's a good bath time. Yeah. Cutie pie. Oh, oh, oh goodness. Why was that so cute? Oh, your sneezes are really cute. It's a lot though. I, I share the feeling when I went back to Ohio last Monday, the moment I stepped off the plane, I couldn't breathe. <laughs> and the moment I got back in Florida, I put the tissues away. It was all over and done with. It was really strange. All right, I can tell you're really in the middle of something. So, who else I spot is Pharaoh. Maybe we'll catch a glimpse of Ariel. This might be like the magic hour where we'll see some of the more elusive cats. Hi, Pharaoh. You're a smart boy. You waiting right where the food comes. Yeah. Hi. This is Pharaoh. He is. <laughs> He's a sleepy boy this morning. Yeah. He's a good boy, though. He's a white serval. I know, you guys can instantly tell that I did not bring the food. If you've noticed, every cat I've walked up to this morning has put their nose in the air at me and then they turn around. <laughs> well, something that I can show you from this side if he lets me is his really cute serval spots. He's got one on that shoulder and one around the corner on the side of his neck. No, nope, you're not gonna let me. I know. So handsome. He's very majestic. <laughs> we have Steph and Mary that are feeding this route. This Ariel. So Ariel's not eating her chicken, so Steph will pick that up and take it back to food prep, weigh it, and record it. You're welcome, Mary. <laughs> hey, what do you think, Pharaoh? Say, I'll take it. I'll take that chicken. Yes, Kara. Uh, Tonga and Pharaoh were brothers. They weren't in the same litter, though. <laughs> and now I'm ready. You can pass that over here. We do all miss Tonga. It's very, it's very hard when their cages sit empty and you. It's all mush, buddy. None of this you want. Yeah, you don't want that. You don't want that. Your mama's coming. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, but for real, you have food. <laughs> I know she's coming. <laughs> all right then. You know who else we see is Miss Nala. Let's go check on Nala. Nala Bean. So this is an African serval named Nala. Yes, and her, her standard hiss. This is technically what Pharaoh should have looked like. But Pharaoh has a trait called leucism that creates that white coat. So somewhere along the line, Pharaoh and Tonga's parents were a lot more closely related than what was realized. I know, you're so busy. This is definitely the serval hello. It's just part of their genetics. That's just what they do. Yeah. Smiley girl. Sweet Nala. I think Nala's probably, in my personal opinion, our prettiest serval. <laughs> I love her big giant tail, her raccoon tail. She's got big pretty ears. 
she's got such a pretty enclosure right now too. It's just magical out here right now. If the sun was actually out, you would uh, just see all these gorgeous light beams coming through everywhere. Very, very pretty. So I'm not sure if you can see that little face right over there. It's looking like Kelowna from here. And yep, as soon as the cat wants to run, you see peeking out from behind that den. One of our most elusive bobcats on property is Kelowna. I really doubt she'll let us get close. Yeah, here she goes. What you doing, sweetie pie? She's like, I don't see you, I don't see you, I don't see you. And I'm safe. <laughs> All right, I take the hint. So that was a rare glimpse. <laughs> she is one of those cats that just by chance you'll see her. Good chance she already ran back out there. So might be able to see some eyes in the corner there. That's her favorite spot. And she lives in here with Dryden, who would be on this other side. Yep, still sitting in lockout. He's a lot more brave. And then their neighbor, of course, is my girl, Tiger Lily. My other girl. <laughs> I can't I can't keep up. I love them all. Hi big boy. That's Gabrielle Tiger that you hear calling. This is Dryden. You yeah, you're a lot more brave. It's gorgeous though. I know. Here's that bobcat sound I love. So scary. You're so scary, I know. That's why we stay three feet, huh? Three feet. He's got the most amazing ruff around his neck and I love, I mean, he's got such prominent markings on his ears. He's just gorgeous. And Kelona is just as adorable. She just, just won't let you see her. It's a very special treat when you see Kelona. All right, buddy. Is your neighbor home? I see her. I don't know if you guys will see her. See if you can spot the bobcat. What you doing, lady? much see an eyeball. This would be Tiger Lily. Can you see a better shot and get past the grass? You can see some ears outlined. <laughs> She's got it made in there. I don't think they're gonna get a good shot at you today. <laughs> Trying. Nope, it just gets thicker from there. Can you see a bobcat face? It's pretty much dead in the center of. Oh, there she just moved, so you can see her now. See a little bit of her nose, anyway. <laughs> Great camouflage. Uh, I think I saw somebody mention Zucari. I can be close. So, yep, yeah, there's Jamie Feet and Pharaoh. So, let's go. Let's go see if we can see Zucari. Thank you. Zucari might be down at the other end. Sometimes he eats on this end and sometimes he eats down by Servi. It's looking like he's down by Servi. Servi usually gets fed a little bit later, so he's 
He's just being a good neighbor and cheering her on while she eats, aka sitting there staring at her. How pretty his den looks right now. I know we don't like the vines that climb up the cage, but they sure do make it look cool. <laughs> apologize if I'm missing any questions. I know I am, in fact, but I, especially in this area, you can see it's just all tree roots. Gotta watch where I'm walking. Here's Zukari. Zukari is also an African serval. What are you chewing on? always funny to me that he's got that awesome toy that has like a ball inside of it that he could play with but they play with sticks and leaves and <laughs> so silly. Zukari is also one of our younger rescues. We have just under 20 cats that are over the age of 20 but the last couple of years we actually did get quite a few younger ones. Tanya, a lot of our cats love to, love to chew on the foliage in their enclosures, but like I always say, they literally sell kits that you can grow grass indoors for your domestic cats, so it makes a lot of sense. You guys are just joining. This is Zukari at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. Yep, we uh, had a bobcat rescue last night, but Catherine and Elisa went on. Potentially might be doing a, a little bit of an exam with that uh, cat today. I'm to try to keep you guys informed on all of that. Oh, aren't you being adorable? Good morning, Lori. Thanks for posting all those links, Karen. Uh, Laurel, I just believe the bobcat last night um, was just very young and was found alone uh, in, in a median. So, more like orphaned at this point. Phyllis, you're only seeing small sections of the enclosures. You're only seeing what my camera can fit in one screen. Um, our cages are built in bubble systems. <laughs> So silly. So they all have multiple sections that are connected by doors and tunnels. You can learn all about how our cages are designed at bigcatrescue.org slash cages. Sukari actually has one of the biggest cages. His sections are made about 1,200 or so square feet each. And he's got like three, of, three or four of them. He's actually able to run from end to end in the mornings, chasing the meds cart, which is pretty cute. I wish he could run free, but that's what happens when people think these guys make great pets. Because they do not. That's why we have so many servals. Yeah, that, that is an official serval greeting. Could be followed by a bite or a scratch. These guys are actually the, some of the world's best hunters. They need a lot to keep them busy. Uh, we don't really have cats that fight each other because cats are solitary by nature. So if they come in alone, they do live alone. If they come in together, as long as they actually get along, we'll keep them together. We have two caracals that were being housed together. And as soon as they got here, we spayed and neutered them because we don't believe in breeding for a life in prison. 
and we put them back together and it was only a few days later that we realized real quick that they just don't really like each other. You're being so silly this morning, sir. I'm glad you came over, yeah. Good suggestion. All right, should we say hi to your pretty neighbor? Servi's been all calm and sweet over here. Servi's still waiting on breakfast. She gets breakfast at a different time because she has a morning med and then her breakfast has to be served a certain period of time later. Hey, Kelly. Kelly was a former intern here. Just chatting with Miss Servi. And that's Nikita roaring in the background. She's real impressed with me this morning. She's smart enough to know I did not bring the food. No. <laughs> we might just continue this little serval tour here. See if we can see Sheena and Cricket and then we'll wrap this one up. Like I said, if we do an exam of the new Rehab Bobcat, I'll hopefully come back live with you guys. I believe tomorrow's moving cat day, so hopefully we'll see some of that happen tomorrow. I'm not sure what the weather's like tomorrow, but today it says it's like 70% chance of rain, so. Gotta love Florida summer. So let's see, Servi's neighbor is Sheena. She's back there. I literally saw her ears. I don't know if you can see her ears by her den. She might be staring down Cricket. Hi, Sheena. I know. Keep my distance so you don't get upset. Yeah, most people think owning a big cat is just gonna make them super cool. It's definitely an ego an ego boost along with a money-making scheme breeding these guys and unfortunately servals get exploited in the savannah world it's taking a an african serval like sheena and trying to breed her with a domestic house cat and they want to do that to get the exotic look of a serval but the calm temperament of a house cat almost always the opposite. I know. You keep walking away and they want to see you. You're so pretty. Sheena actually has a really strange allergy. She can't have anything with blood or red meat. So she's basically a chicken, fish, and shrimp diet. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a great idea. Definitely adopt. Don't shop. People will pay 10000 and more for some of these exotic cats, and most of the time they end up in a shelter, or if most shelters can't even take cats like this, they end up in the wrong hands. Hi, Pauline. Thanks for joining us. All right, hissy girl. Now you guys know why I don't always spend a ton of time with these guys, because they don't always appreciate it. <laughs> Let's see. It's going to be a good way to show you Cricket. She's in a very pretty spot. She's up on top of her den. Looks beautiful right now. Hmm, it's the safety gates on that side. Natalia's not home. Natalia's still on funcation. There's Cricket. Alright, wish me luck. I'm going to try to zoom. Alright. This is Cricket. Cricket's story is a little sad. Her owner was a vegan, so she, which isn't sad. I respect people that choose to live like that, but what's sad is she thought that Cricket could also be a vegan. Big cats are 100% carnivores, and they need red meat, <laughs> and they need meat in general, and this poor thing was eating broccoli and just has a curly tail to show the evidence of it. Yeah, 
my Karen will be excited to see you in October. Very, very pretty. So if you guys have just joined us, we did start this feed with Nabisco having breakfast. We saw Moses and Bailey, Frankie, Smalls. We saw Simba, Pharaoh. We even saw Kulona take off running. <laughs> and Nala and Dryden. And if you could spot Tiger Lily, good luck. <laughs> and we headed over to Zukari who was being adorable. You definitely need to go back and watch that if you missed it. Yep, and then we saw Serby, Sheena, and now Cricket. So if I missed any questions, I always try to go back later and reach out to you in the comments. And thank you to those of you that donated today and everyone who was helping answer questions, everyone who shared this. Anytime you guys share these feeds or our YouTube videos or our Instagram posts, anything from Facebook, it always helps us reach new audiences. We really, really appreciate that support. <laughs> yeah, I always try to do a little summary, hoping I don't leave anybody out. <laughs> and Carol's been doing some awesome daily uh, news briefings. All of these live feeds and all of Carol's updates post automatically on our Facebook uh, show channel called Wildcat Walkabout. So definitely check that out. And these feeds always post on our Facebook page. So if you missed them or you joined late, always go back and check it out. So we really appreciate you guys. And uh, hopefully we'll have a name for the new Rehab Bobcat that came in last night. Awesome, Cindy. Yep, I'll definitely look for your email. So thank you guys so, so much. I'm glad we got out here before the rain. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you all have a great day and I will possibly be seeing you again soon. So take care.